Well, you said you like talking about this stuff. Like, I love it. I've heard multiple casting directors refer to themselves as like therapists too. I think Sherry <laughs> Thomas said it first on the podcast. Okay. Um, do you feel like you're a therapist? And you say you like that? Do you sort of get that? Especially whack when actors are coming in the rooms and they're sort of um, I, talking about the grind. And I just got a parking ticket. And I, like, I I enjoy human connection. Oh, that's beautiful. And and within that human connection that I get to have with with performers because of my profession, if I it can provide clarity or encouragement or support. I am happy to do that. That's just sort of me as a human being. I would do that with players that I coach. I, w- I do that hopefully in my friendships. My friends feel like that, you know? So um, I just in general, like, yeah, I happen to be a casting director, um, but I just sort of apply who I am as a human being within this arena, you know? So, so I like talking about it. Um, because a, I've been doing it for so long and, and it's just, it's expanded so much and evolved in so many ways. Yeah. It's, that's interesting. And I really do love actors. So I just love connecting in that way, just in general. Yeah. Do I feel like, a th- I mean, you know, we, we get on lots of interesting topics. We all, all have had some interesting lessons that we can share with each other. And, and I, you know, I learn, I learn from actors too, you know what I mean? So yeah, I think it's all just an interesting human experience and, and we get to, you know, make movies in the midst of it and that's fun for me. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. And that's why I like doing this podcast too, because it's like what I'm complaining about is sort of what you alluded to is like the check boxes, forget the check boxes. But at the same time, there are those definitely check boxes, join SAG, get a TV audition. Get, mm-hmm. But it's fun to hear how everyone got there, right? Because some people, it takes 25 years. Some, it takes five. Some well, do it this way. Some do it that way. Everyone's different. And there's no such a, recipe or no, equation. Yeah. There really just isn't. I mean, look how I got into casting. Right. <laughs> because I was uh, I'm going to send you a letter to get into co- this film. <laughs> I think that's the hack. Right? That's the hack. Um, you know, there, there really is no recipe or equation. Yeah. Um, and if you start overthinking, well, I have to do X, Y, Z, I think that's where you actually delay um, what could be. Because when you when you tune into your intuition and kind of go with the flow, I think this is in all aspects of life. Things just unfold so much yeah. better. I mean, even back to the like the, the dating aspect. How many times have you been told, you know, if you're really you're on the dating apps and you're really you want to just find that person, you want to just be in a relationship or whatever. And then the second you like give up. That's when you find, find that person. How many yeah. times have you heard that? And then, or even with a job or whatever, like that's just anytime we try and force or control based out of fear, it, it just the energy can't flow, and yeah. then we, you know, end up waiting longer for what we really want. Yeah, it's very left brain, right brain. I studied engineering in college. Oh, so, really? Like, I didn't study arts. I studied right. math, and I want to solve it's the so equation. Yeah. 